today. I have a Husqvarna 5225. The uh, pulley has broken bearing came out so got another pulley just a bolt goes through the deck um, it's right in there I'm going to uh, take these covers there's one on this side one on the other side and then I have to put the deck belt back on and get it routed around the pulleys and I'm going to finish installing the belt on this side so it's easier to see and um, just wrap the pulleys around. There is a diagram underneath. So I'm going to get the deck um, belt kind of routed. I got to take both of these covers off so I can get the belt on all the pulleys. And I'll be right back. The bolts on these covers. This is a uh, 52MZ5225. The bolts on these covers are 13 millimeter. So I'm just gonna take them loose. Now some of these mowers. Um, the covers have a slot, so you can slide these up, and I believe this one has, because this is a uh, friend's mower, he wanted me to work on it, so I'm just going to break the bolts loose. The deck, there we go, so as you can see the slots. And the covers, which, so you just have to loose, take them off. And here's part of that, part of that bearing that broke. Here's the race for the bearing. As you can see, split probably the uh, cover on the gasket, or the uh, bearing failed. And, the ball bearings, I have no idea where they went to. There's no telling where they went to, so, in somebody's yard. So I'm going to head and I'll get the other side, and we'll take that cover off as well. Okay, do the same thing on this side. So, um... Good to go. He's already greased the pulley. There's a grease fitting on here for each three pulleys. The one in the middle and the other side, there's a grease fitting. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this belt um, started on the back pulley for the, for the engine and get it routed around, put it on this pulley, and I'll drop over to the other side to... Uh, I'll drop over to the other side and show you how you get a big enough socket once you start the belt use your socket to roll this as the belt will come around it and make the insulation instead of like trying to fight with this uh, pulley try to get the belt on with your hands it's easier if you get a socket or a wrench while you're holding the belt make sure you don't get your fingers on it and I'll show you on the other side so there is the deck belting or belt routing I'm sorry so it goes around the engine Goes around the engine, comes to one idler pulley, comes around the back side of that pulley. Remember the pulleys are goes on the back side of the belt. Then the V-notch goes around the, the right side pulley. Right there. The V goes around the outside. Let me uh, get this belt, belt routed and I'll show you how to get it on. Alright. So what will fit that is a 7 8 hopefully you can see that it's a 7 8 it fits right on there now you can't get it all the way on because you're you know you're going to be in the way but there's a tension pulley in there so just to give yourself a little bit more leverage because you've got to overcome the pulley and the belt. So, since I was having so much problem, I got my half inch. It fits on there. 
very, very, very good now. I've got pretty much almost all the way down, and I still have a little bit left to hook it on the ratchet. So let's do this one more time. Get your hand to hold the belt. Oh, this is much easier. Look at this. Don't slip off. Just a click or two more. There you go. That's a pain in the pain in the rear. Ratchet strap around that pulley. This is your tension pulley right here. This moves back and forth to keep tension on the belt. And I just tied a ratchet strap just to pull it so the belt will have less tension on it. To uh, so I can get that get that pulley on there. So it's a pain in the butt, but you can do it. Little ingenuity. I find the socket on the, as instead of trying to like cup your hands around and pull it and twist it and pull it, just use a 7 8 socket, preferably a long one, just to get it around the pulley so you can actually have leverage as you're rolling the belt on just like I did it. So I hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching. So this is the test. Working perfectly now.